Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic where today in the pursuit of history we go through a lot of trouble. <laughs> also, um, I actually do have work again. I will be going back and doing my archaeology job out in the field. We're going to be really isolated even from each other. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting, but I will be going back out in the field finally, which I'm excited for. Um, but trying to be as safe as possible. What that means though is that uploads will probably be, be probably be a bit more regular, uh, which is unusual, I know, given the past, you know, lack thereof of any sort of regularity. But if I can get enough episodes edited before I go, they'll upload on a regular schedule, which will be a nice change. So, anyway, I hope you all are staying safe, and I hope you all enjoy the episode, and it will start in a second. Come on, game! Let me, let me play it my way! Oh, jeez. Alright, we gotta go through this. Whole thing! And why do you want help? Uh, give me information about how! Uh, mines! Seems very easy! I've dealt with their kind before. Why am I doing most of the leg work? Uh, okay. See, it was like, it was like, I'm not interested in this anymore. Thanks for the information. I don't need you anymore. Look, I have your fodder, so. That's old school gaming? You're right, you're right. Legit. Approach them with the fodder. Okay. He's not gonna help me with the sand people! I have no choice. He says that, but I think he actually just is like doesn't care and just wants to kill the dragon. Uh, maybe if I take out the bantha fodder, I, can, I don't think I can like hold it. Um. <gasps> oh, where is it? Uh, maybe if I can put it. Wait. Can I put it in my hand? And I like hold it? Um, I don't see it. Okay. I wonder if I hold the chieftain's gaffy stick though, if that'll help. I don't know. Get wrecked. Leave me alone. Is this gonna be like a contextual thing? Oh, okay. All right. I so I'm just holding it. Okay. All right. Oh boy, we're gonna get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe I can throw a. And one of these first before they come in. Okay. And then I attack this guy. That'll show you. Wow, wound did very little. Come on. Oh dang, he's beating me up. How is he poisoned? Oh, I'm also- I'm fighting with the stick and not with my normal weapon. This is a bummer. Look at this hand-to-hand -hand combat, though! Dang! Oh, dang, I need to heal. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Just hit him one more time! Hit him one more time! Oh my god! Okay. Heal. Take one of these. Take one of these. This is what I need. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Take that. Your brain hurts. Did I only just? Well, I was armed with the stick in a in a in a in a hope that it would um in the hope that it would maybe let them let me do what I wanted. Oh, I think the stick is making it has poison effects on it. I hadn't I hadn't read that, but but I think 
that is the case. Okay. Alright, so that didn't work. Time to give myself my lightsaber back. Alright. Okay, uh, Bantha, let's go. Are you gonna keep following me, or do I... I can't, like, look behind me while I'm walking. Nope, okay, time to poke the Bantha again. Come on. I'm so sad, though. They're so cute. Achuta. Wonga Achuta. Wonga Kunbizdol. Okay. Jedubadawana Nidibobo. Dong Nabungsha Nunya. Dong Kashmak. Is this actually going to work? I'm ready. Tune Pudo. Rananu Prata Dongo Shirkasha. Jum a big head. He's a big one. Oh, okay. Don't get the star map before I finish Basilisk site. Oh my gosh, there's so many things I gotta freaking remember. Yep, okay, well, who, who, who would have figured? Oh, jeez. Is it? Oh my gosh, it actually died. I thought I was gonna have to fight it. We eat a non diet. What are you, ma? I mean, to be fair, the thing kept walking forward after they blew up. <laughs> I don't want it. Your skill made it possible. Pfft. Thanks. We knew it had to be done. Maybe he actually means it. <laughs> What did I what did I get? Dang that dragon's big. What? Oh, I'm like trying to break into its stomach to get the pearls. Maybe? Okay. Can I... what? Uh... I mean, that's the star map. Well played, thanks! Um... Did I do that wrong? Uh, what did I... Where's my stuff? Do I have to go in and like get its poop or something? Oh my gosh. Did I check every, I mean, like, I didn't go in there yet because I don't want to trigger the star map apparently. So, I mean, I. I poked it a couple times and then it just went away. Save and go in. We'll probably try that, yeah. Pearls. Oh, cool. I can spell. It's fine. Pearls. I mean, it like acted like I had to like unlock the body. So I did. I thought. And then... Oh, dude, you're a Jedi. You were a Jedi? Oh, no. A crystal? Frick. Oh, dang, there's even, like, statues of, like, pre precursor aliens. Opelia, what? 
chewed Twi'lek corpse. Uh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to, like, go back. Did, what did I do to... Like, did I... What did I do to not get the pearls? Do I have to redo that again? I par apparently I should have it. I just couldn't see it. Maybe I'll, um... Maybe I'll just go. I'll, like, go... Talk to them. Crystal, violet, pearl, 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 bowcaster, blah, 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 blah. Data pad, data pad, data pad, data pad, data pad, data pad. Adrenal accelerators, blah, 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 blah. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna g go. I'm just gonna go. And hope for the best. And heck, man, what, like, what will happen if I don't finish Bastila's quest first? This seems, this seems problematic. Or maybe I should have just been doing the quests, fa like, the personal quests faster. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm, they, they had, like, assumed, for the most part, that I would be done with them already. Because, like, if there's going to be a problem with me getting this star map and then not finishing Basil's quest, that, that feels weird. There might be a bug? Okay. Okay, that's fairer. Can I fast travel from here to, um, I mean, I don't think, I can only fast travel back to the Ebon Hop, but I actually can't do that right now. I think I can fast travel out here. Oh, and I will... What am I doing? Yeah, okay, I can fast travel here, but I have... I have HK, so we'll be fine. And where's the actual freaking enclave? Oh my gosh, this desert's massive. It's like being in the hissing waste. Except less pretty. And less, um of the, like, sea cloth, whatever it was, that I really like, that you can pick up from the Venatory out there. Right? I know, six miles where you, well, you can only fast travel, I think, back to your ship. Like, I don't think there's fast traveling to, like, the various areas in, in the game. No, Dominoes, don't tempt me. Leave me alone. No. What is it? It's my favorite cloth. It's really pretty in, in, in Inquisition. It's like white silk, but with like pretty designs on it. It's got something sea in it. Like some sort of sea something. Like the ocean. Ocean sea. Alright, if we have to walk all the way back here and I don't actually have this pearl in my hands, I'm gonna be so upset at the game. Uh, oh no. Um Translation. Translation. Okay. I am a, does he have damage? I think he's like kinda damaged. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. See, plane weed? No! No, you monster! Okay. Uh... The guy should have given you the pearl. I mean, then I should have, then I should, when I click the guy, when I click the chieftain, it should just pop up, right? Like, it should pop up, look, I have the pearl. Like, that's a thing that should happen. 
or do I need to go back and do that again and like demand that he give me the entire reward? I, I, I think we split it half and half. Like, I wasn't even like, oh no, you can take it all. I, I thought I split it halvesies with him. Let's continue and see. I don't, I don't know what to continue doing. Like, the whole thing, the whole point of this was to come in and I think give him the pearl. Because I got, um, I did, like you say, Chris, maybe it's, maybe it's actually in, I got this weird crystal Opelia, but it's not a pearl. And I only have crystals that don't say pearl. Oh, check the quest log, maybe? Okay. And I got a, it said I got a quest from him, maybe. Uh... No. Oh, droid. Bring him a dragon pearl, and he will consider it. Oh! I need to take the gaffy to the Zerka op. Oh, I thought I need to do that. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought this was done. Hmm. Did I try dust still? Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to kind of see. Oh no. Like, um. Whatever might be hidden in the depths of his lair is now yours to claim. Hidden hunters. Nope. Let's try information on Protocol. sand people topic. History of your clan. Translation. He's glitching out. You have been told that to be considered yeah. worthy of hearing the histories, you need to bring him a dragon pearl from a great dragon. Translation. He says the discussion is Here is a dra Okay, frick! I had to go through that whole thing again. And then I was able to say, here's the freaking dragon pearl. Okay. But HK is glitched out. Here's a dragon pearl. Translation. Ah, oh, that was frustrating. Translation. Stupefied. He is stupefied, master. He never thought you could return with such an item. Such a thing has not been done in many years. Translation. He will allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat the histories incorrectly, you will be oh, no. killed. Translation, the storyteller will be summoned to one of the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think this is a great honor for you, Ooh, Master. Ooh, thank you. Uh, Assassin, I'm streaming. I'm streaming Coder of all things. Not sure how your computer even ended up on your page. What? What? What's happened? <laughs> you got regged by dragon and now by game design. I really did. Okay, farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Okay. <sighs> Where's the friggin' storyteller? Alright, we have time for some storytelling, but then I should probably go after that and mow the lawn. Compared to the warriors you've encountered, the Sand People storyteller is relatively calm in his movements and speech, but he still regards you coldly. Well, I don't think it was even a game bug. It was—it really was just like old game design, honestly. Like I'm used to stuff popping up more frequently. He identifies himself as the storyteller, Master. He has been told of your 
warrior skills and will speak the history to you. Yeah, glad, thanks, yeah. I, I did, I started, I think I streamed it last week for a bit, but yeah. I, um, we're back, we're back on our coder BS, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... Mm. I am honored. Ask him what he records. Translation. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally to each successive generation. Translation. A book or data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To commit it to paper or storage is to remove it from the people. Oh, interesting. Um, I mean, oral histories can fluctuate a little bit, but they're not necessarily inaccurate. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I, for, I guess, it, I mean, it really has been a while since some people have seen me play Coder. But, yeah, I was, um, I was getting to the end. Because wh the reason I had stopped kind of playing Coder, like, one of the reasons, I guess, the biggest reason was that, like, I wanted to... There were a lot of issues with some of, like, a lot of the Coder episodes were, like, there, there were different audio problems and, like, graphical problems and stuff. So I wanted to finish editing all the Coder stuff before I started playing again. Like, all the stuff I had saved up, which I had, like, many, 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 many hours saved up. And so now that that's all edited and done and I know which, like, you know, streaming program is better and, like... I, can, I know how to, like, you know, at least most likely avoid audio problems and stuff. And the graphics are a lot better. Like, my, like, stuff's been improving, like, bitrate-wise and stuff. So, so I've just gotten better at it, so it's easier to get the videos now and have them be better quality for YouTube. So, so now that we've done all that, we can, we can get back on to Coder. It took a, it took a full, full full-on year like legitimately we, we start we we ended we ended a year ago we we stopped playing a year ago like literally a year ago i can tell you because i have the save files uh, i know a hundred years on and you still remember it okay what topics can i choose from translation translation you may choose to hear the history, or you may choose not to. Their history is a single entity that cannot be partitioned. Translation. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, <laughs> he will continue from where he left off. Stonesmith, you are indeed wise and beautiful. Begin the history. Translation. <laughs> Translation. It begins Story time. in the ancient times. They were not sand people, for there was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked. Okay, this is what you mentioned earlier. Translation. Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation. There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders, before the abduction, before the cities fell, before the builders. Oh, really? I remember finding you through Coder videos when I originally started. Oh, okay. I came up recommended from search. I came up recommended on YouTube? When does that ever happen? <laughs> wow. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you were able to find the Twitch. It's been fun. Dang, that's great. It's always uh, that's actually that's really cool. I'm always I'm always happy to hear like it's interesting to hear how people found me. So and you've been here a while, so it's, that's awesome. I think I've been playing Coder for like two years at least. Number three, holy moly! Oh, back back in back in the day when YouTube was kind. There are words for amounts of time. That means they forgot. Shh, it's an oral history, okay? It's got to be a little more poetic. Also, I'm pretty sure the builders are the name of the creatures that made the star maps and who are, like, apparently evil incarnate. I'm pretty sure the builders are them. And, whoa. So they, so these, so the sand people had, like, 
of freaking interactions with the builders like way back in the day and they're probably one of the only people whose histories remember that so this is an advantage of oral histories is that yes writing them down can often make them like stagnate them or cause them to be lost or forgotten because if they're written down people no longer feel the need to memorize them but apparently like these histories have been passed down word for word like the same over and over and over again so this might be possibly one of the oldest records we have of at least an interaction with the builders which is interesting can i can i ask questions about what i've heard or uh, no cautionary oh I okay you, okay Master, that any questioning of their interpretation may be seen as trying to change the meaning of what was said Clarification. Thank you, yes, Stone Smith. They may consider this to be speaking the <gasps> words of error, a blasphemy. They would attempt okay. to kill Okay, no questions. Let's return to my other questions. Obedient. I will ask Obedient, whatever you wish, Master. He says. Continue the history. Translation. Oh, sweet. Morningstar and Jade Princess? Perfect. Translation. His arrogant people touched the stars, and this sin drew the attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars, they lashed them to millstones. Translation, great demons of metal stripped the world oh, of its dang. Riches, until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities were lifted That's crazy! Away. Translation, those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars. What? Penitent, Holy moly! Slaves. Continue the history. Translation. <laughs> Translation. There came a time Whoa, when the what? were also judged for their crimes. After generations, <sighs> a plague. A plague. Them, Topical. And the time of the Great War began. Translation: The builders faltered, and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation: They worked chaos in the machines, so they destroyed themselves. The builders fought back, laying waste to the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave homes carved from valley wall, they so were it. <laughs> oh, dang. So it wasn't the huts that ruined the planet, it was the builders. Like, somebody mentioned that the huts had, like, destroyed the planet, and that's why the sand people don't like outsiders, but it looks like the builders themselves actually did it way back. Translation. <laughs> Editing, if I may, Master. This section of his tale details several millennia of the Don't Lord shorten Lord. it! Their nomadic wanderers as they accept their identity in a desert world? Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest bantha and move you on to more recent You have days. no freaking... Oh my gosh, you have no appreciation of history. I want to hear it all. Ha ha ha. Very well, master. <laughs> Several hours later, dang. Translation. The tribes spread far, distant from each other, but all the sand people and all cherished the land that remained. The sand would not be misused. Translation, then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders like you that brazenly walked apart from the land. And greater still was the insult to come. Translation. These outsiders reminded them of their past transgression, of the time when they too walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their ancient... What? Translation, so it is to the current sons that the sand people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. Whoa! So we... So humans look like what the sand people look like or at least what they used to look like is that what he's saying 
Because, uh, that's crazy. I know there's, like, apparently humans, like, really got around. Like, technically the Chiss are, like, related to humans. And they're, like, a completely different group that, like, evolved into their own species. Um, but dang. So this is saying that, like, we were maybe some of the abducted ones that got put into different places and, like, we're related to the sand people because we come from the sand people as humans. What, well, at that, I don't know. Have we seen a sand person face? <laughs> don't insult the sand yet, yeah, uh-huh. That's why Anakin couldn't get along with the sand people at all. I don't think I've ever, we've ever seen a sand person face, like, ever. I think they always wear those masks. Is there anything further? Edited. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it's He's like, please, I'm done. Okay, I'll return later. Translation. <laughs> Translation. We are free to leave. We're walking a fine line. But yeah, okay. I need to go and mow the lawn. But thank you all for helping me with this. <laughs> this was history. Yay! And there you go, all for history. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you in the next one.